Hello! Welcome in my next video where I'm gonna show you some cool hairstyles under the helmet um, to avoid that moment, exactly that moment where uh, when you think your hairstyle looks pretty good but doesn't look like a nest so it's better to, to do, spend some time and do some hairstyle before you, you put a helmet on. So here's her hairstyle number one. Uh, all of them will be pretty simple but I think they'll look pretty good that's why, that's why probably I recorded them. Uh, and I'm gonna prove you actually I'm gonna prove you um, that helmet helmet uh, will not destroy them uh, I will prove you here but to be honest I was wearing those uh, these hairstyles uh, through all the summer because I was cycling to work and I have almost um, I think 18 kilometers in one side so believe me if 18 kilometers under the helmet didn't destroy any of this hairstyle be they're pretty good I won't be explaining step by step what I'm doing here because I hope it's pretty understandable uh, but if you have any uh, questions please ask me in the comments below I have to tell you it's quite funny watching yourself on a video and um, I recorded it I think um, almost two months ago I was just a um, little bit stressed <laughs> so I didn't upload it earlier but yeah I'm, I'm stressed here yeah, I can see it that's why, that's why I'm like, smiling so much because when I'm stressed I smile a lot too much probably I may look quite stupid but well, it is how it is. So here is uh, hairstyle number one. You can see the result is quite good, right? I like it. I really do. It's a good hairstyle. So now, I was talking about that moment. I'm gonna prove you that uh, it works. Um, yeah, see, helmet fits. Yep. One more check. Yep, fits. Everything fits. Good. Now let's take it off. <gasps> yeah, everything stays in place. I look surprised, but you know, I knew about it. Besides, I wouldn't show you if I didn't. Okay, now number two. Enjoy!
So here I'm going to show you very classical hairstyle, which is French braid, but it's beautiful. It's always beautiful, and uh, it works under the helmet. So I had to show it to you. <laughs> So this one is a little bit more tricky, it's braid as well, but it's Dutch braid, which means um, each part, uh, each section of hair goes under uh, the other sections, not above. Uh, when you do the French braid, uh, the section you work on works, um, goes above, yes, goes above <laughs> um, the, the other ones, and here it goes um, under it. I can make another video if you want to, because I, I, I'm I think it's quite not difficult, but just tricky. But it's really beautiful and quite popular, so it's worth to learn it. And it works as well under the helmet. Okay, the next one. I don't remember how many hairstyles I prepared for you, but I think around ten, nine maybe. So yes, here is another one. Uh, you have to do a ponytail. Yes, low ponytail. Mm -hmm. And here it is. Yeah, I'm joking. Um, so uh, that ponytail, you need to divide into two sections. Yes, two sections, and twist both sections in the same uh, in the same way. So <laughs> I know it's not very easy. <laughs> you can see. Even here, that I have a problem with that, but it's it's very important to do it in the same um, in the same side. Direction, I meant direction, of course. Sorry. <laughs> So now we have to twist those sections together and secure the end with the uh, elastic band. And now uh, just find a very tiny uh, section of hair, hold it very strong and pull the, um, the rest of the hair to the top of your ponytail. And just hide that, you know, that little section. I really like that hairstyle, it's very easy, of course, if you if you want to mix the, the sides. Uh, it's really easy. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my dog. So yeah. Um, so it takes, I don't know, a few minutes, three maybe, but it looks elegant. It looks, um, uh, yeah, you can wear it to work. You can wear it on Sunday or Saturday when you're going for shopping. I just love that hairstyle. It's really, <laughs> you can see I like it. And it fits under the helmet, of course. Yeah. And nothing so wrong with that when you take it off. See? Perfect. Okay, the next one.
so here the French braid goes from uh, one side of your head to the other one and finishes just above uh, your ear. You can leave it like that or do what I did here. And here is the third option of what you can do with this uh, the hairstyle. It's really simple, small changes and um, the hairstyle looks completely different. I'm teasing my hair with my hands because I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling sorry for my hair. So. I've used uh, one um, clear elastic band here and a few bobby pins to secure the, um, the braid. And here it is, and works under the helmet as well. Oh.
super cute, right? But if you think you're too old for that and two braids are too girly, just add some baseball cap and you're gonna look like a hip hop star. Yeah. If you're never dreaming about being a hip hop star, just twist them uh, on the back of your head and you're gonna have a really elegant abdo. Of course you need to secure the abdo. See, and done. Plus 10 years in just 5 seconds. Okay, so this one is not so elegant, so um, if you're not a preschool teacher, I think you shouldn't wear it to work. But for Saturday's shopping, it's great! It's so cute! And here's the queen. I've le I left it uh, for the very end because it's my favorite, absolutely favorite hair hairstyle. It takes some time to, to make it, a little bit longer than um, the pre previous ones. But believe me, it's worth it. You can wear it everywhere. You can wear it on weddings, uh, some parties, events. I don't know, wherever you want to wear it. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And nothing is going to destroy it. You can dance all, the ni all, all night long. Sorry for my English. Um, yeah, you can dance for all night long, and your makeup can be somewhere on the floor. Your drips, I hope it's gonna be on you still. But this hairstyle, it's gonna be on the same place as it was at uh, the very beginning of the uh, of the night. So yeah, just make it some day, some time it's worth it. Really.
Okay, so I have three tips for you. So the first one, use um, clear, small elastic bands, um, thanks to which um, people think that your uh, your hair holds in place just in some magical way. And the other one, the next one, um, uh, please <laughs> hide your bobby pins. <laughs> just, they are not pretty. They are there to help you hold the hairstyle not to be pretty they don't look pretty and the third one which is the most important for people like me who don't have too much hair if you do any hairstyle and you have some doing some braid or that abdo what which i'm doing right now just pull pull each section everything you can thanks to it you can fool people you have more hair than you actually have without an extension so it, it's good right so yeah that's the most important I always do it um, of course if I'm not too lazy um, yeah and it works and it looks better and here it is thank you for watching hit the subscribe button hit the like if you liked it and see you very soon bye